September 18th, 1928. Ten-year-old Gil Jamison is kidnapped from Punahou Schools. A hospital orderly showed up at the school and claimed that the boy's mother got into a very bad car accident and that he'd been sent to the school to fetch the boy. The chief registrar gives George Gil Jamison over to Miles Fukunaga, 19-year-old boy. They watch the two of them walk into a black Packard taxi cab it takes off from the driveway of Punahou School. And later on, the staff would tell the police, we didn't realize that if that cab was actually going to Queens Hospital, that it actually should have turned right, but it went left. Gil Jamison was brought to Waikiki behind the old Seaside Hotel, where the International Marketplace now stands. He was murdered, bludgeoned to death, but only 10 years old. His killer was found out about two days later, sentenced to die at Oahu Prison. In 1999, my late mentor, Glenn Grant, at 3 o'clock in the morning, felt that the ghost of George Gil Jamison was calling him from beyond the grave. And so he walked to this spot and didn't really see anything except this flag. He finally gave up because nothing happened. But as he began to walk in this direction, from behind him, he noticed something white and very bright following. He screamed bloody murder and ran for his life. As he got to the fence that was now closed, before he jumped over the fence, this voice in his head said, stop. If you don't turn around and face this thing, all this research you've done all these years about ghosts will be for nothing. And so as he turned around to face the ghost of George Gill Jameson, probably chasing him, he found out that it was nothing but a huge silver mylar balloon floating in the air right behind him. He thought to himself, how is this possible because isn't this thing filled with helium? And then it slowly rose into the air and disappeared. Was this the ghost of George Gill Jameson come to life following the old boss that used to head the old ghost tour company? No one will know for sure. But at the Oahu Cemetery, this grave has the most activity where caretakers, young teenagers who climb over the fence to have a few beers, always see a four foot tall Caucasian boy with short hair, big ears, wearing knickers, long sleeve white shirt, bow tie and bare feet, playing in this area and calling for them to join him. But when they get close enough, they realize they can see right through him. So if you're willing to come here by yourself at two o'clock in the morning, if you're lucky, you come to this spot and you'll probably have a playmate.